Obviously the academy, uh, the way that things are taught in colleges tend to be broken into disciplines. We have anthropology, we have philosophy, we have cognitive science, we have all these different kinds of disciplines, and that's just kind of the way that academics have always kind of organized things. But the world itself isn't split up into these nice little categories. These are kind of human ways of dividing up the job of learning about the world and learning about people. I'm Brian Keeley. I am a professor of philosophy here at Pitzer College. I'm in the philosophy field group, but I also participate in a number of other programs. I uh, teach in the neuroscience program. I am also a member of the science, technology, and society program. And also we've just started a brand new cognitive science field group, and I'm one of the founding members of that program. One thing that characterizes philosophy is that it deals with what you might think of as perennial questions. I mean, questions that have been bothering humans from the very beginning. Who am I? Why am I here? What is here? What is, the, what is this world? And these are questions that have been questions forever, but they always have kind of modern versions of them. If we're still dealing with the same questions that, that Aristotle and Plato and Confucius and people long, long time ago were dealing with, uh, doesn't that show that philosophy hasn't made any progress? I mean, you know, we haven't answered any of the questions. One way of thinking about philosophy is it's, it's not really about the answers. It's more about coming up with better questions. Because if you engage with really, really difficult questions, then when you're confronted with much easier questions, you will be in a better position to answer them. So the metaphor I sometimes give is when you go to the gym, you're lifting really heavy weights and you're running really, really fast and you're doing lots of stuff where you're pushing your body to its extremes. But do you lift up 150 pounds on a barbell because you're gonna be doing that on a daily basis? No, you do that really extreme thing so that when you pick up your laundry and take it up two flights of stairs, you're not completely winded. Well, I think of philosophy as kind of the gym for the mind, right? In philosophy, you're gonna deal with questions like, is there a God? Or do we have free will? Is that because we want to be able to answer those questions on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, no, because typically we're not really worried about those sorts of things. Instead, we're trying to figure out, should I buy an electric car? Or should I buy a hybrid? Or should I buy an old-fashioned gas car? Right, there are decisions there to be made. And if you've banged your head against really difficult philosophical problems in a philosophy class, you're better at kind of thinking through these kind of mundane questions that we have on a day-to-day on -day basis. To me, one of the great things about Pitzer is the freedom that I have to teach just on all sorts of different topics. I'm one of those people that likes to learn. I like to engage with lots of different kinds of interesting ideas. Philosophy in general allows me to do that but particularly teaching philosophy at Pitzer uh, allows me to do that to kind of the nth degree. I'm Brian Keeley, and I'm a Pitzer professor. <laughs>